good morning from Boeing After Factory here. We will see the first takeoff of the Boeing 777X after six years of development of the program. So very exciting indeed. As many of you would know, the Boeing 777X is the world's biggest, the most powerful twin-engine airplane ever made. I'm checking out the beauty of this airplane. It's really long, the longest 777. I think about two meter longer than the current 300ER. Um, as you can see, the engine here, this engine GE9X, it sets a world record lately. It generated 134,000 pounds of thrust. Uh, that is well above the rated 105,000 pounds of thrust on the 777X. So indeed, it's a very powerful engine. Looking at all the new composite wing here, and this wing is much lighter than a conventional wing, than a metal wing. I think the most integrating feature is the folding wingtip. The folding wingtip mechanism works like this. At this gate here, the wingtip fold up. So it saves a lot of space. It's the same wing category as other 777, so the airport doesn't have to modify the infrastructure or the gate to fit the new airplane. It's very smart. And when the plane goes out to taxi and take off, the folding wing tip will fold down to produce a longer wing to reduce the drag and more efficiency on the liftoff. At 9.10 a.m., I'm standing at this barn here. It has a little elevated view with the rest of the media all out waiting for the 777X first takeoff. As you can see, the January weather in Seattle is not kind. That's why Yesterday's take off people spawned into today. So I've been watching first flights since I was a kid. The 747-400 I think was my first. I may have seen one before, but I would have been so little I don't remember. Um, and then the original 777 and the 787. Uh, I was very emotional <laughs> because we'd waited so long for it. And uh, so today's just going to be phenomenal. Really looking forward to it. It's, it's in my DNA. My grandfather was a pilot. My dad was a pilot. I love your scarf. Look at this Thank aviation you. scarf. Every year, my mom has a made for, has an aviation scarf made for me. Okay, I'm proud of it. We saw the plane just push back from the delivery center gate, so it's waiting to taxi. So the moment's coming soon. Early a taxi down past us, and now it's holding at the end before turning onto the runway. Uh, some say it's just waiting for the weather to improve. So as Sam said, it's kind of unusual to take off uh, with the tailwind, and especially when it's gusting at 26 knots. But this is the track, uh, the airplane's right here, and uh, we're going to go. As Sam said, we're going down 30, uh, runway 34, and then as you can see here, it is going to then uh, sharply uh, turn to the northwest and then go out over the ocean. Unfortunately, as you have seen, the plane has taxi back to the stand. It means it's not going to happen today due to the gusty wind, right? It's a bummer. Here's my friend, John. This is flight Air test. Air current. This is flight test. This is flight test. Everything is very dynamic. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I hope so. I actually won't be here tomorrow, but oh. I knew because I won't be here tomorrow, this plane will take off. <laughs> And as long as I have a good safety takeoff and Boeing need this boost. So uh, fingers crossed for tomorrow. So after two days of waiting the 777X under inclement weather with bad wind and rain, the 777X finally took off on Saturday, January 25. And here we go.
under the command of Captain Van Cheney. At 10.09 a.m. it took off for the first time in history. It flew 3 hours 51 minutes and returned to Boeing Field at 2 p.m. And you can hear the crowds cheering for it. Beautiful landing. Beautiful takeoff, beautiful landing. So what do we know about the 777X so far? The 777X development program started in November 2013 during Dubai Air Show. The CEO at that time has formally announced the go-ahead of the program. I am pleased to announce today that Boeing is launching the Boeing 777X. Our sales teams have been engaging with customers around the world about this airplane and the response has been, quite frankly, overwhelming. It was an unprecedented display of demand for a new airplane. Leaders of some of the world's top airlines announced at the Dubai Air Show a record-breaking number of orders and commitments for Boeing's newest jet, the 777X. There are a total of eight airlines and one undisclosed customer has ordered a 777X family so far. The list price on 777-9 is $442 million, making it one of the most expensive planes Boeing ever made. Boeing says it's expecting to pick up more orders as airline gradually replacing 777-300ER with the 777-9. The main rivalry of the 777X family is the A350-1000. Um, so far, the A350-1000 has sold about 170 firm order, comparing to the 309 order 777X received. However, the 777-8 has been struggled in orders and sales. Qantas recently has selected A350-1000 for their ultra-long-haul Project Sunrise operation. The 777X has its first taxi test in 2019, uh, but it faced a delay in the program. It was expected to take off last year. However, there was a compressor anomaly in the GE9X engine that has set back the takeoff dates for a further six months until January 25th. There's no MCAS installed on this airplane like the 737 MAX. The maximum takeoff weight on this airplane is 351 tons. The 777X cockpit includes large LCD touchscreen displays. The cockpit has similarities from the 787 Dreamliner. Boeing says the 777X cabin will be more comfortable than that of the current generation 777. The sidewalls are redesigned on the 777X cabin, makes it 4 inches wider. Window in the 777X will be 16% larger than those of existing 777. So with today's successful test flight, that is a huge boost to the 777X program and also to Boeing. Time will tell if the 777X family will be as successful as its predecessors. I am looking forward to fly one of the 777X family in the sky very soon. Thank you for watching.